that room. You realize that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the Ket activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The Ket can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing Ket over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future, yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp? The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over? After everything you've been through? I don't know. The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh?